Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hope you are doing well. I can't wait to show you all the new stuff I got. Ah, oh, so happy. Love getting packages in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, whenever it is. It's like Christmas time. But I was, I got home from work yesterday and there they were. My packages from Unique. Got all these new things, lipstick, primer, BB cream, all this stuff. I'm so excited and I can't wait to share them with you. If you don't know who I am, my name is Maria Jesperson and I am a white status presenter with Unique. You can um, get anything you see here or ask me any questions, um, but anything you want to buy, if you want to join my team, we have a great time um, at yourbestslashforward.com. Actually, I'm going to pin that here so you can see it. Let's see if I can do that. Now, I know the morning is always hard because people are getting ready for work, as am I. So you don't really have time to check out people's live feeds, but that's okay. Because then, oh, I think I pinned it. Let's see, pin, there we go. Because then um, they'll be late. So I'm getting ready. They'll watch it later, you'll watch it later whatever it is. If you can share this video, that would be great. It helps to spread my business. Um, but I found out a new way from my sponsor um, how to put on foundation. I have a new thing. I got my BB Flawless in the color Honey. I also got my Mineral Touch Press Powder. Yay! So excited. Um, I got my concealer in a color that's lighter than I normally would use because I want to cover the under eyes and kind of highlight and um, oh, I got a new blush in the color sweet I got new lipsticks I'm telling you I am so excited it's like a kid on Christmas look the color sweet oh I don't know if you could see the lighting's a little off there you go so we're going to use palette 3 today there, all the purples. I've used it before. I'll use a couple of different colors that I haven't used before because um, I'm purple today. So that's what we're going to do. Um, let's start with, I already put my Time Correcting Night Cream on to hydrate my face as a moisturizer. I also put on my Uplift Serum, Instant Lifting Serum, my Instant Lifting Serum to really... Uh, I wonder if this will well. Maybe, maybe that'll help. Uh, my instant lifting, instant lifting serum to really kind of work with the puffiness and stuff that I have. Now let's work with the BB cream. Now I did hear from a few people if you apply it with a brush, the concealer brush, that it's actually better because you save yourself some product and you don't over apply. So. Why not? I have a tiny little bit and I'm going to use a brush, a foundation brush, whatever it is. And this, like I said, is in the color Honey. I'm not used to using a brush to put any creams like this on other than foundation. Sorry. Technical difficulties this morning. I'm thinking maybe here. Can you see my laundry? No, don't look at my laundry. No. All right. I probably need a bigger brush to put this on. I can't even see. Honestly, the camera is not doing a good job here. Maybe I should do it before and after because I can't see. Oh, no. 
If this is your first time watching, this really is not my first video, <laughs> but it's pretty close to my first video. I haven't really been doing this very long, but I'm working, I'm working it all out. Oh, be careful. Don't pull skin, don't pull skin. You don't wanna do that. I'm gonna try a different brush. I think a different brush would be better. Uh, let's try ah, this one. Oh, much better. It's just bigger. And blend it all in. Oh, maybe this is better. Better angle. I'll be the one arm bandit. I'm holding you on one side. And this is our BB Flawless Cream. It's really like a complexion corrector. You can use it as a foundation if you're looking for really light coverage. It's almost like a, a tinted moisturizer is what I would consider it, but um, it's not how it's labeled. You know, it's labeled as a uh, as a tinted BB cream. So, okay but I would look at it as almost as a tinted moisturizer. Oh, see, this is where I should have you. Welcome. Thanks for coming. How are you? I hope you're gonna, going to have a fantastic day. It is bright and cloudy out there. Let's see. Well, that doesn't help either. So, uh, if I'm back here, it helps, except that I can't see you. So, I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, maybe. All right, once you have your BB cream on, I learned that you can put your primer on. And I would, I always thought you put your primer on first. You know, that's the way I looked at it. But apparently your primer will help to really seal in that BB cream and the, um, the moisturizer in there. So why not? I'll be right back. Let me get something to open it with because it's brand new. Nothing like being prepared, being prepared, first thing. You know what, I'm gonna use a different brush yet again. Use an actual foundation brush. That's probably what I should have used before. So just a little bit of primer. And I'm going to start putting that all around. Tiny bit. I guess I, you do use less because it spreads more evenly on a brush. I'm not sure. So, now, I thought I had so much more time to get ready this morning. Famous last words. I, of course I don't. Um, I was taking care of my duck. She is doing better for those that are wanting to know. Um, she has an infection and we are treating it with some strong antibiotics and some anti-inflammatories we'll see how she does she is back out with her sister outside we had to keep her in the bathtub last night so she was not noisy she's not my noisy duck i have another one that's a noisy duck but um it was pretty funny having to take her out this morning oh it smells like a zoo in there it's clean that's why i thought i had more time but a duck kind of took that time away from me. All right, now we're going to go with my concealer. Ooh, I'm excited for my concealer. And that I definitely use a brush with. Um, this concealer is much lighter than the color that I would use, but that's exactly what I want. So, tiniest bit, I'm telling you, it's really, the smallest amount that you need. I'm going to hold this here. The smallest possible amount that you could use is perfectly fine. Oh, I could see. Okay, and I bring it down. That's it. Okay. My bed is made, but my laundry's not put away. I guess that's real life, isn't it? To have your bed made, but everything else still is falling apart. <laughs> At least I got my room back today. All right. So now that I have this concealer on, 
and cover up all the dark circles and any color. I like bringing it down here and right there. I'm actually going to use the, um, the sponge. It's a little wet sponge to kind of really blend that all in. Sorry for shaking. That would be because I'm holding it with one hand and blending my makeup with the other. Nothing like multi multitasking. Oh, let's see. There. Is that better? Does that work? Maybe that works. Maybe it doesn't. All right. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. You're too far away from me, and I'm too old to be able to see that far without magnifying glasses. <laughs> I actually don't have them yet. I know. I'm holding out. I'm holding out on wearing them. It'll happen. It'll be one day. I'll just kind of look, and everything will be like, whoa. <laughs> anyway. All right. Now that I have my concealer on, let's put you there again. There we go. I am going in with my pressed powder in the color Satin. That's the color I actually use in the Liquid Touch Foundation. But in the, um, sorry, in the pressed powders for Unique, the powders are actually a little bit like a half step lighter than their Liquid Touch Foundation. So this might actually match me even better then uh, let's see then my regular liquid touch foundation that's like a tiny bit darker that I want so all right so my job is to try to figure out a way to do these videos and not mess around with the camera <laughs> And just do them anyway. Um, mostly because I love sharing what I do, what I know, whether it's in the classroom, I am a kindergarten teacher, or if it's anywhere else. Whatever I know, I love sharing. I am totally about spreading knowledge and information that I may have. Hopefully it is um, not something people get annoyed at. Some might, and that's okay. You know, can't please everyone. All right, so there is my foundation for the day. Normally, I like doing my eyeshadow and everything else, but I was trying something new today. So we're going to use palette number three, and we're going to start with the color Determined. That's this very light color right here in the crease as a transition color. I'll try to hold this here so you can see. So we'll do that in the crease. And these colors are more of the, the purples, a little bit of the rose gold kind of colors in here. And since I'm wearing purple today, I'm like, oh, let's, let's go all out purple. So we'll go to the other side will be a transition color in the crease again. Remember, be gentle with your eyes. You don't want... Nothing like lighting really ruining it the way you want to apply your makeup. So if you did not see my last live video, um, you can scroll down and find it. I did a whole thing on skincare and I used our detoxifying mask it was so nice. It was so nice. I loved it. I just kind of was so happy to get rid of all that gross stuff on my face and everything else. All right, now that I have determined in the crease, we're going to go with the color Cheeky, which is a almost like a glittery color. It's that color right there. It's a glittery color right on the lid. Oh, it's a nice dark color. It's the first time I'm using this color, so I figured why not. 
by like pressing it and then blending it out. Oh, let me get you closer here. Oh, better I can see. Maybe you didn't want me closer. Sorry. <laughs> I need the light though. And the view. All right. So I like doing on the outer half and keeping the colors light on the inner half unless I'm trying to do a whole smoky eye. Now I'm going to go back and blend. Blend that all around. And now I'm going to go in with a lighter color. And I'll also use a flat brush for that. to go and use the color uh, let's try the color smitten again color smitten is almost like a satin All right. let's try that one why not and it's super light so it almost acts as a highlighter on a pink purpley kind of side And I'll do that in the f first part. And then I'll blend it all. Something I also got today, uh, yesterday, actually, I couldn't wait to play with it today, was um, my brow gel. So, oh, let's try it. I haven't try, tried it yet, so this will be the first time. It's the Precision Brow Gel. We'll see how it works. If, you know, it may replace me having to fill in with a pencil. Hey, you know what? I think it looks good. a little closer maybe that helps I will work out this whole lighting thing I promise at some point you know I think this brow gel is pretty awesome it does have a little bit of a color um, they have it in three they have light medium and dark I believe um, let's see I'm almost positive that they do. I'll have to check on that actually before I start spreading rumors. But I think it works really nicely. Oh, yep, yeah, it definitely has a pigment to it. So it kind of fills in those sparse places in your brows. Now I have, oh, sorry. <laughs> I have eyebrows, so I know um, you start to get eyebrows that thin and everything else. I'm still lucky enough to have mine, so I don't really need a lot with them now. But every little bit helps. All right, let's take the color irate, which is that black color right there, and we're going to just line the upper lash with it. I'm going to turn on this light. Let's see. Um, bear with me. Line the upper lash. I really love this palette. I think the purples just are so pretty and so easy to wear. Um, we'll do the lower lash as well with that color. Almost using it like a eyeliner, but in its powder and eyeshadow form, it's a lot more blendable too. And then I will take my blending again. Where is that? There we go. And just blend it up. Now, I don't know if you can tell with the lighting and everything, thing, but my skin looks awesome. I love it. 
Oh, hey, Cynthia. ¿Cómo está, mamita? Um, I am a presenter with Unique, and you can get anything that you see if you want to go through all my videos and stuff at yourbestslashforward.com, and it'll take you to my site. Um, a lot of the Unique products are mineral-based and loaded with vitamins and everything else, so I love it. But here is the thing that I love the most, and this is why I joined, because I was only going to get the mascara, but then when I thought, you know, let's try everything else, I'm gonna show you the mascara in a second. You know what I forgot is to show you, I have a new blush, I'm so excited. So this, like I said, is in the color Fresh. Oh no, not Fresh, I'm sorry, Sweet. There it is. You can't see it very well, but I did hear from a lot of other presenters that it is super pigmented. So because it is, I'm going to be a little careful with this, okay? Um, the last thing I want is to have clown face, you know. My kindergartners would probably love it, but not what I'm into. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a nice, totally doable color. Not too bright. So you press it into your skin and you just brush up. Again, I keep it towards here and on the outside because I don't want to close in the light on my face. I want the inside of my face to have light and brightness to it. Oh, Cynthia, I love you. I watch your videos all the time. Let's see. I'm sorry, but how, I can't read. Let me see if I can unpin this. I can't read the rest of your comment. Oh no, why can't I read the rest of your comment? I'm not quite sure. I wonder if it's the way I'm holding your phone. Hmm, sorry sweetie, I have, I watched your video, oh, I don't know what you're saying, I'm sorry. I can't read the whole thing, it's not coming out. Oh, how am I? I am fabulous. Uh, oh, Sonia, you're ready for your lashes? Gisela, I need to know. You have to tell me. Gisela is my girl from the hood. <laughs> she actually posted something like that yesterday. I am so prim and proper out here on Long Island. Really prim and proper. But in a split second, this girl goes to town. <laughs> Especially when I get angry. I think the angrier I get, the more like I start to really lose it. And, and lose my composure a little bit. Um, how are you, Cynthia? It's been so long. You doing well? So I'm gonna take my, I took my beachfront bronzer and I'm going to actually use it to contour a little bit here, right under where you did the cheek, your blush. Then I'll go back and I'll warm it up. And if you would l please share this video, like it, follow me on Facebook. It just helps to spread my business. I'm not looking to do this full time, but I have to tell you so far, it's really been going well. So it's something I wasn't expecting, but that extra cash, I'm not complaining. So if you want to join my team, I can't tell you how easy it is because the products sell themselves. When you see this mascara, Cynthia, you especially, if you haven't seen the mascara yet, ridiculous. It sells itself. There's no need for me to do anything. I could just sit here and do nothing. All right. You ready for that mascara? Yeah. I can take the woman out of the hood, but you can take the hood out of the woman is exactly right. As much as we try, we can do all we want to, to be prim and proper, but we will regress to what is home for us. And I'm not having a problem with it. Like I said, I'm not, you know, and hood gets a bad rap, you know? People think hood is a terrible thing. No, hood means that you're just not pulling any punches. You're gonna say it the way it is, whether somebody likes it or not, and mess with you is not advisable. That's what it is. Don't mess with me. 
<laughs> because once the earrings come off, you know it's game on. I was always very tame, though. Very tame. I'm sure Gisela knows. <laughs> but every now and then, oh, my sister, if she's going to watch this later, she was no joke. Okay, just look at those lashes. Seriously. Let's see if I can get the lighting. Okay, see that eye? No, no mascara and that. And I haven't even put my fibers on yet. Okay, so... Cynthia, you were no joke either. Mm. <laughs> Do not mess with Cynthia. Ever. <laughs> All right. And we're going to just... Let me move you here. Oh, my God. Seriously. Your best lash forward? No joke. Honestly. Gisela, you better take some pictures and send it to me. Yes, yeah, Cynthia was no joke. All right. Okay. I don't know about you. I know it looks like a little thing, but lashes are just amazing. No mascara. Even if I use department store mascara, I'm telling you. And then the 3D fiber. Look at that. Really? Can you deny? This is why... Um, becoming a presenter was so easy for me. I don't have to really do anything but show you what it looks like. This is it. And did I have to do live videos? No. But you know, I was kind of like looking for some entertainment other than constantly playing Candy Crush is really bad. Because Cynthia, don't mess her with your little brother or something. I remember you. <laughs> Or your cousins, it was all of us at the edge of Nets and Eduardo's house. It's like, you better not mess around when you had other kids coming from the outside. We were like, oh no. You were a fierce protector of your brother. I know that. And we always had such a good time. Damn, I miss the food. <sighs> If um, you are new to me and you're thinking, what is this woman talking about? I am talking about my upbringing in the city, in Queens. So for those that are thinking the city is Manhattan, no, the city is comprised of five boroughs. I was in the borough of Queens and had a fantastic neighborhood that I grew up in and an amazing childhood with so many different people from all over and the food I am Latin oh, and I love it um, the food was just there we go amazing amazing alright seriously can you see the lashes? All right. So I am going to finish up with sealing these lashes. Just take a look here. All right. I got a little mascara on the inside of my lid, but we're good. Now we're going to seal them, put on some lipstick, and head off to work. Make sure you seal those lashes, okay? If you don't seal the fibers in, they will flake, and then it's going to be a hot mess. So make sure you seal everything in. And I always like putting a coat of mascara. Oh, sorry. Close up of my hand there on the bottom lashes. So pretty, my friends. Almost done. Ready to go to work and to take on the world with my little kitties over there. Sorry about that again. Um, today is Thursday. 
So it's a long day for us in the middle of the day. But we end up having gym at the end of the day. So the kids are always so happy. I love when they're happy. They're so cute. All right, let's see. We have two new colors. We have the color Affluent. It's a little bit of a nude pink, mauvey pink. And then we have the color Loaded. Ooh, a little darker. I think I'm going to go with the darker one today. Nice. Mm, yay. My new stuff. Don't look at my bathroom. <laughs> Don't look at my laundry. And there it is. All done. So. Oh, Cynthia, your lashes are very long, but they won't curl up. Hmm. My advice for that is when you put your mascara on, look down. So hold a mirror under you, look down, and then use the wand to push up your, um, oh, thanks, Dawn, to push up your eyelashes. Also, make sure you're getting the mascara at the base of your lash and go up. Okay, try that and see if that works. Um, you might need a different mascara, like a different formula that would hold your lashes a little bit better. But I find if I look down and go up, one, I don't hit the top of my lid, and two, I find that um, you really need to get at the base of your lashes, so take your time with it, okay? All right, everyone, I have to get to work. Um, please share this video with anyone and everyone. It helps to spread my business. Um, I am Maria Jesperson, and I am a white status presenter with Unique. Sorry for the shaky hand. Um, and everything you see here can be found on my website at yourbestslashforward.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.